today uh, uh, in this tutorial we will discuss how to use the forecasting analysis or to predict or forecast the expected outcome for the next week next year next month whatever you want to predict using statistical uh, models uh, so we should have a uh, data which correspond to some information for example here you can see uh, th this is one excel file where i have saved uh, data currently it's a um, coronavirus pandemic situation so i've just took took the example of uh, coronavirus patients in pakistan per million for example at this date at this time point there were 0 0.02 cases per million in pakistan and on daily basis they were increasing so it's uh, data for four weeks now we want to predict for the next week that whether what would be the estimated number of patients per million in pakistan right so for that uh, we use this um, for this analysis we are using ibm spss software so hey you just go and uh, s first download the the file or upload the file on spss or you, you can say import the file uh, so I have made one uh, folder for this right here you can go uh, and select this forecasting uh, file so in this sheet it is available so it will open just like in the Excel format so here you can see that there is one column where it's, it's saying coronavirus patients in Pakistan per million right and the other is date now uh, we want to analyze this information so first of all we want to predict for one next week so we should set uh, the table as uh, per week uh, observations for example here you can say that uh, weeks and days so for in one week there are seven days so we say that we'll go for uh, pred prediction for the next seven days or one week right so we have selected a time frame of seven days now now we want to uh, do forecasting analysis so here we go in the analyze from analyze we can go to the create models right and create models there are a number of options like uh, for example yeah, uh, here it is stationary r square or we will say fit my so simple of r square and goodness of fit model here then for plots we want to plot observed values forecasts and fit values right and then we also uh, we just take it as a default for output filter in save options we want to predict the predicted uh, we want to save the predicted values and the low and upper confidence intervals and then in options we say that uh, we want to predict the fifth week right for the next seven days and uh, we select it and then we go back to the variable option here we have the number of patients in uh, uh, in this column coronavirus patients in Pakistan we just select it and also if you want to select any different method the expert modeler exponential smoothing and arima there are different techniques you can read that separately the different techniques what are their um, uh, what is the basic algorithm behind these techniques and obviously we are taking the example of coronavirus patients and it's it's highly contagious and it is growing exponentially so we select here winters any multiplicative model right not additive we are selecting the multiplicative model so we just select continue now estimation period from the first case to last case and forecast for the fifth week right so now if any click OK now this is the result here you can see that it's predicting the output f f uh, output and here you can see that from uh, first uh, one Sunday to five s uh, fifth Sunday this is the whole period where you can see that there are red and blue lines which are light blue uh, thin blue and red line that is observed and fit value it's very uh, it's very consistent and uh, af and then you can see that after that there's the one bar and there's a blue thick line this is the forecast prediction of coronavirus patients 
for the next week in Pakistan so I think uh, it's very uh, so you can select different models options uh, to, f to predict based on your question of interest and if you have detailed knowledge about uh, different forecasting methods here we've just uh, showed you the tutorial where you can use how to use IBM SPSS software to uh, for your forecasting studies thank you very much I hope uh,